this plant here at, at Morgantown, the, the membrane bioreactor plant is, is 12.8 MGD and one of the larger MBRs in this part of the country. And, and for me personally, this was a pretty exciting project because I was involved in the, the initial design, developing the proposal, and to be able to come out and see the finished product is, is really something special. And then when we see the effluent that it produces, it's, it's almost indistinguishable from, from the water you get out of your tap, and that's going right back into the river. Really, really driving a, a benefit for the waterway in this part of the country. Here at the treatment plant, we have uh, two parallel processes. One is a conventional activated sludge. Uh, the other one is the uh, membrane bioreactor system. So we can kind of compare them side by side. Uh, typically from our activated sludge process, the conventional, uh, we'll see, you know, BOD and TSS uh, treatment efficiencies and it would be in a 10 to 15 milligram per liter range. Uh, what we're seeing coming out of the MBR and the effluent, BODs are one or less and the total suspended solids are usually two or less. So almost a tenfold increase in our treatment efficiency. We have a very small footprint available for uh, increasing our treatment capacity. An MBR system provides uh, a lot of capacity, extra treatment, and a very small footprint. Uh, two, we're kind of familiar with the uh, MBR or membrane technology and having uh, applied that to our water treatment plant. The application of that to an MBR process with membranes on the back end uh, as uh, filtration seemed a very viable type of uh, process. We knew that the uh, MBR system would give us a lot of treatment capacity, again, in a very small, short footprint amount of area that we had to build in. And we know that the effluent quality that comes from uh, an MBR system was extremely good. I've been involved in both the water project and the wastewater MBR project since, well, since we started piloting the, uh, the water plant probably in 2009. I'd love, uh, particularly in applications where they, they do actually reuse the water, either sending it you know, up ahead to, to retreat it for drinking water or repurposing it for irrigation. I, I think it's just uh, from a, a green standpoint, it's a lot of fun to be part of projects like that. The Mempulse MBR does a great job for our customers due to its, its compact nature. It's very adaptable, very flexible. Each membrane module gets its own mempulse device. So that membrane module has a dedicated aeration resource to drive optimal process performance. The ability to keep the membranes in the tank, not to have to, to do any adjustments to the, to the slack of the membrane itself, goes a long way in saving our customers' operational costs over the long term. We've actually got a submission in with the DEP to bypass our ultraviolet disinfection system with the membrane effluent. This will save us a, a lot of money in electrical costs. It really wasn't as hard to learn as what we thought, and once once it start, we started catching it, it was it's really pretty easy to run. Working with Mempor has been a pleasure, and we've been pleased with their service and support. Even when we've had small problems, they've always been available to us to help us get through it. And that, that's a real benefit to us. It's nice to know that even at two o'clock in the morning, if I got a valve stuck, I can get a hold of somebody and they can say, hey, you just need to flip this switch here. It's a learning experience and uh, it, it's nice to have someone on the other end that will help you. Our wastewater treatment technologies from our membrane bioreactors, our, our MABRs, our UFs, our ROs, we, we have the technologies to put out to the marketplace to solve today's challenging wastewater treatment problems. We can give reuse quality water, enabling our customers to help tackle water scarcity challenges.